Hello, my name is Mary D and welcome to my YouTube channel, Mary D Plays. In this video, I'll be doing the fender play, random exercise, and riff. Um, now, I have the fender play app on my phone and I got programmed to send me a daily random play uh, riff and an exercise and I have it rotate where one day it's going to be for the electric guitar and now day it's acoustic guitar and then of course the bass guitar and well it looks like today uh, random uh, exercise and riff is for the electric guitar and let's see what it is the exercise is drill the A minor pentatonic scale in seventh position um, I just recently did this. At least I'm pretty sure I did. Let's take a look at the tabs. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I've done that. Didn't really do a good job at, so <laughs> I do need practice. Okay, well. Can't complain. I guess I'll have another go at it today. And then, of course, the random riff is um, Bulletproof Love by Pierce the Veil. Okay, so that's the random riff, which apparently I've done before because. It shows that I completed the lesson, but something must be wrong. Must be well, it is three picks, but there there must be something wrong because obviously I'm having problems with the problem with it because I didn't do the practice mode. See, the practice mode is not completed, which usually means um, there's something with the lesson that I'm having issues with. That's usually in the past when I've seen it. Okay. Let's move back to the pentatonic scale. This lesson will drill our A minor pentatonic scale in seventh position using hammer ons and pull ups. Here's how our exercise sounds. Fret hand will ascend this sequence using hammer-ons, then descend the scale using pull-offs. So we're going to start from our 8th fret with a hammer-on to the 10th fret. Here you have... Then for our A string, we're going to go from 7 to 10. Same idea for the D string. For G, we're going from 7 to 9. On our B string, we're going from the 8th fret and hammering on to the 10th. And same goes for our high E string. So after we hammer on to the 10th fret of the high E string, we're re-articulating the pitch and descending the scale. Now we're going to be using pull-offs for that like this. When it comes to the strum hand, we're going to use consistent eighth note rhythms throughout, down picking on the strong beats and hammering on or pulling off on the and of each beat, just like this. One, and two, and three, and so on and so forth. And then we articulate. Let's put the entire exercise together and play it five consecutive times. Get ready, and I'll count you in. One, two, three.
Nice work. Practice these legato scales slowly, then speed up the tempo. It's a great addition to your playing. Okay, I'm going to watch it again, but I'm going to switch over to a wider view of the tabs. This lesson will drill our A minor pentatonic scale in seventh position using hammer-ons and pull-offs. Here's how our exercise sounds. For the fret hand, we'll ascend this sequence using hammer-ons, then descend the scale using pull-offs. So we're going to start from our 8th fret with a hammer-on to the 10th fret here. You have... Then for our A string, we're going to go from 7 to 10. Same idea for the D string. For G, we're going from 7 to 9. On our B string, we're going from the 8th fret and hammering on to the 10th. And same goes for our high string. So after we hammer on to the 10th fret of the high E string, we're re-articulating the pitch and descending the scale. Now we're going to be using pull-offs for that like this. When it comes to the strum hand, we're going to use consistent eighth note rhythms throughout, down picking on the strong beats and hammering on or pulling off on the end of each beat, just like this. entire exercise together and play it five consecutive times. Get ready, then I'll count you in. One, two, three, four. Okay, go. Let's put the in pause. So I can practice this on my own. Um, it's so Okay, I'm gonna do this uh, five times on my own, and I'm slow because I'm still learning about pull-ons, pull-offs, and I'm not really too comfortable with uh, the fretboard. I guess past fretboard uh, seven. I'm I'm not really. I'm still learning that area. I don't really have the muscle memory worked on that yet. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
think that was three. Okay, let's go to four. the guy but I don't think I'm gonna be able to entire exercise together and play it five consecutive times get ready then I'll count you in one two three four <laughs> to do on that <laughs> all right um moving on to the random riff bulletproof love now since i just said i i have a lot of work to do i have a feeling random i probably end up seeing that that exercise more often yeah <laughs> you know how the gods uh, will answer your prayers or you know You never know. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's do uh, Bulletproof Love. Apparently, last time I attempted the song, I must have, it must have been hard. Something must have prevented me to finish the practice mode. Because if you look, it hasn't been checkmarked. It's not green. Okay. Bulletproof Love. Uh, focus aspects of lead guitar playing with this lesson on Bulletproof Love by Pierce the Veil. Vale. In this lesson, you learn alternative picking, arpeggio picking, palm muting, and string skipping. Uh, well, I'm not going to be doing any palm muting at this moment. And I'm not really sure what they mean by string skipping. So, anyways, moving on. <laughs> Here's the opening riff to Bulletproof Love by Pierce the Veil. I'll play you the first eight bars. <laughs> So we're going to play a series of arpeggiated patterns here with string skipping and palm muting before moving into a scalar based melodic line. Let's work through each pattern here. Starting out, we're going to have our second finger, ninth fret of the A, first finger, eighth fret of the D, and then fourth finger, eleventh fret of the D. Those are our first three notes. Then we're going to skip up to the B string with our fourth finger on the eleventh fret still, and play the ninth fret of the B, 
move to the G, 11, 10, 11. So we start out with these three notes, 9, 8, and 11, and then we skip up 11, 9, 11, 10, 11. Now this part right here on the B and G strings that we just played is going to repeat itself throughout this section. So we're going to go back to these after we play a different three notes at the top each time we go through a pattern. So that's our first pattern. It happens four times. That's two right there. Here's three. Next pattern, the first three notes are the same frets as the previous section, except we're going to be up a string set. So now we have second finger, ninth fret of the D, first finger, eighth fret of the G, then fourth finger, eleventh of the G. Then we repeat 11, 9 on the B, 11, 10, 11 on the G. So we have 9, 8, 11, and then this section again. This happens twice. Then moving on, now we have our third finger on the 11th fret of the D string, second finger, 10th fret of the G, third finger, 11th fret of the G. Then we repeat again on the B string, 11, 9, then G, 11, 10, 11. So that part only happens once. And then we start with the same two notes here, 11th fret of the D, 10th fret of the G. Now we have first finger, 9th fret of the B, staying on the B string, 12, 11, 9, now on the G string, 11, 10. So that part is... So putting it all together here, we have... This is four times on this part. Let's take a look at that entire section from over the shoulder. This happens four times. first part where I have the D string with the fourth finger on the 11th fret and we skip to the B string 11th fret, I'm actually just keeping my fourth finger barred. So I hit the first three notes and then bar down and then I can skip to the B string without having to actually move my finger. You don't have to do this, but if it's more comfortable for you, it might be a little easier to play that way. So with our strum hand here, we just have alternate eighth note picking here. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up all the way through the progression. Now the first three notes of each bar are also palm muted. So we have palm mute, one, two, three, and then remove. Then one, two, three. Then moving on to the next section, one, two, three. Eleventh fret of the D, three notes palm muted. Then first three again, unpalm muted. So now moving on to the second section here, we're going to have a single note line that sounds like this. So we're going to be in fourth and sixth position here. Each note we hit on a fret gets two hits. So we're going to have seventh fret of the high E twice, sixth fret of the E, on the B string, 9th fret, 7th fret, back up to the 9th fret, 6th fret of the E, back to B, 9th fret, 7th fret. Now on the G string, 6th fret, 7th fret of the B, 6th fret of the B, 8th fret of the G, 1 hit on the 6th fret of the G. So one more time here, we have our 2nd finger starting here, 7th fret of the high E string. Each note gets 2 hits. We have 7th fret, 
sixth fret down to B, ninth fret, seventh fret back to nine, sixth fret of the high E back to the B, ninth fret, seventh fret, G string, sixth fret, B string, seventh fret, sixth fret, G string, eighth fret, one hit on the sixth fret of the G. So we're going to repeat the first eight bars of this progression one time through, so we play it twice, then we're going to play that section one time through. So let's put it all together, and I'll count you in. One, two, three, four. I'll mute the first three notes of each bar. Skip a string set. Second section here. And that's the riff. Okay, going to play that again, but we're going to expand the tab page. Oh, that's not it. Here's the opening riff to Bulletproof Love by Pierce the Veil. I'll play you the first eight bars. So we're going to play a series of arpeggiated patterns here with string skipping and palm muting before moving into a scalar-based melodic line. Let's work through each pattern here. Starting out, we're going to have our second finger, ninth fret of the A, first finger, eighth fret of the D, and then fourth finger, eleventh fret of the D. Those are our first three notes. Then we're going to skip up to the B string with our fourth finger on the eleventh fret still, and play the ninth fret of the B, move to the G, eleven, ten, eleven. So we start out with these three notes, 9, 8, and 11, and then we skip up 11, 9, 11, 10, 11. Now this part right here on the B and G strings that we just played is going to repeat itself throughout this section. So we're going to go back to these after we play a different three notes at the top each time we go through a pattern. So that's our first pattern. It happens four times. That's two right there. Here's three. Next pattern, the first three notes are the same frets as the previous section, except we're going to be up a string set. So now we have second finger, ninth fret of the D, first finger, eighth fret of the G, then fourth finger, eleventh of the G. Then we repeat 11, 9 on the B, 11, 10, 11 on the G. So we have 9, 8, 11, and then this section again. This happens twice. Then moving on, now we have our third finger on the 11th fret of the D string, second finger, 10th fret of the G, third finger, 11th fret of the G. Then we repeat again on the B string, 11, 9, then G, 11, 10, 11. So that part only happens once. And then we start with the same two notes here, 11th fret of the D, 10th fret of the G. Now we have first finger, 9th fret of the B, staying on the B string, 12, 11, 9, now on the G string, 11, 10. So that part is... So putting it all together here, we have... This is four times on this part. Set. 
Let's take a look at that entire section from over the shoulder. This happens four times. Now you'll notice in this first part where I have the D string with the fourth finger on the 11th fret and we skip to the B string 11th fret, I'm actually just keeping my fourth finger bar. So I hit the first three notes and then bar down and then I can skip to the B string without having to actually move my finger. You don't have to do this, but if it's more comfortable for you, it might be a little easier to play that way. So with our strum hand here, we just have alternate eighth note picking here. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up all the way through the progression. Now the first three notes of each bar are also palm muted. So we have palm mute, one, two, three, and then remove. Then one, two, three. Then moving on to the next section, one, two, three. Eleventh fret of the D, three notes palm muted. Then first three again, unpalm muted. So now moving on to the second section here, we're going to have a single note line that sounds like this. So we're going to be in fourth and sixth position here. Each note we hit on a fret gets two hits. So we're going to have seventh fret of the high E twice, sixth fret of the E, on the B string, 9th fret, 7th fret, back up to the 9th fret, 6th fret of the E, back to B, 9th fret, 7th fret, now on the G string, 6th fret, 7th fret of the B, 6th fret of the B, 8th fret of the G, 1 hit on the 6th fret of the G. So one more time here, we have our second finger starting here, 7th fret of the high E string, each note gets two hits, we have 7th fret, 6th fret, down to B, 9th fret, 7th fret, back to the 9th, 6th fret of the high E, back to the B, 9th fret, 7th fret, G string, 6th fret, B string, 7th fret, 6th fret, 7th fret, 8th fret, 9th fret, 10th fret, 11th fret, 12th fret, 13th fret, 14th fret, 15th fret, 16th fret, 17th fret, 18th fret, 19th fret, 20th fret, 21st fret, 22nd fret, 23rd fret, 24th fret, 25th fret, 26th fret, 27th fret, 28th fret, 29th fret, 30th fret, 31st fret, 32nd fret, 33rd fret, 34th fret, 35th fret, 36th fret, 37th fret, 38th fret, 39th fret, 40th fret, 41st fret, 42nd fret, 43rd fret, 44th fret, 45th fret, 46th fret, 47th fret, 48th fret, 49th fret, 50th fret, 51st fret, 52nd fret, 53rd fret, 54th fret, 55th fret, 56th fret, 57th fret, 58th fret, 59th fret, 60th fret, 61st fret, 62nd fret, 63rd fret, 64th fret, 65th fret, 66th fret, 67th fret, 68th fret, 69th fret, 70th fret, 71st fret, 72nd fret, 73rd fret, 74th fret, 75th fret, 76th fret, 77th fret, 78th fret, 79th fret, 80th fret, 81st fret, 82nd fret, 83rd fret, 84th fret, 85th fret, 86th fret, 87th fret, 89th fret, 90th fret, 91st fret, 92nd fret, 93rd fret, 94th fret, 95th fret, 96th fret, 97th fret, 98th fret, 99th fret, 10th fret, 11th fret, 12th fret, 13th fret, 14th fret, 15th fret, 16th fret, 17th fret, 18th fret, 19th fret, 20th fret, 21st fret, 22nd fret, 23rd fret, 24th fret, 25th fret, 26th fret, 27th fret, 28th fret, 29th fret, 30th fret, 31st fret, 32nd fret, 33rd fret, 34th fret, 35th fret, 36th fret, 37th fret, 38th fret, 39th fret, 40th fret, 41st fret, 42nd fret, 43rd fret, 44th fret, 45th fret, 46th fret, 47th fret, 48th fret, 49th fret, 50th fret, 51st fret, 52nd fret, 53rd fret, 54th fret, 55th fret, 56th fret, 57th fret, 58th fret, 59th fret, 60th fret, 61st fret, 62nd fret, 63rd fret, 64th fret, 65th fret, 66th fret, 67th fret, 68th fret, 69th fret, 70th fret, 71st fret, 72nd fret, 73rd fret, 74th fret, 75th fret, 76th fret, 77th fret, 78th fret, 79th fret, 80th fret, 81st fret, 82nd fret, 83rd fret, 84th fret, 85th fret, 86th fret, 87th fret, 90th fret, 91st fret, 92nd fret, 93rd fret, 94th fret, 95th fret, 96th fret, 97th fret, 98th fret, 99th fret, 100th fret, 101st fret, 102nd fret, 103rd fret, 104th fret, 105th fret, 106th fret, 107th fret, 108th fret, 109th fret, 110th fret, 111th fret, 112th fret, 113th fret, 114th fret, 115th fret, 116th fret, 117th fret, 118th fret, 119th fret, 120th fret, 121st fret, 122nd fret, 123rd fret, 124th fret, 125th fret, 126th fret, 127th fret, 128th fret, 129th fret, 130th fret, 131st fret, 132nd fret, 133rd fret, 134th fret, 135th fret, 136th fret, 137th fret, 138th fret, 139th fret, 140th fret, 141st fret, 142nd fret, 143rd fret, 144th fret, 145th fret, 146th fret, 147th fret, 148th fret, 149th fret, 150th fret, 151st fret, 152nd fret, 153rd fret, 154th fret, 155th fret, 156th fret, 157th fret, 158th fret, 159th fret, 160th fret, 170th fret, 171st fret, 172nd fret, 173rd fret, 174th 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 f
to get some peeps. Let's not close. set up. I think I'm ready to play along with the guy, but I'm gonna give it a try. But uh, I kind of don't think I can. One, two, three, four. <laughs> I'll need the first three notes of each bar. <laughs> Yeah, 